Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robs here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a small network on a map like New Woodshire Farm. So here I am at the shop. I just purchased this truck right here. And as you can see, uh, as I'm in the edit mode. And again, to bring up that, it's the middle mouse button will bring up my cursor. And then bring up my edit mode it is this little button right here where it says edit mode right there. So. Right now there's no network on here because this is a modded map, but I can create a network on here if I need to. Uh, let's say I want to go from here to where my farm is on, let's say, uh, on my, the multiplayer server we have right now. So I'm going to start my network right here. So I'm going to start recording a course right here and I'm just going to drive along on the right side of the road. Note that I'm going in one direction here. So I'm just going to make a little small network. So I'm going to drive from here and then I'm going to go past where I would turn off normally, right here. And then what I would do is I would go all the way around the map, basically like this. All the way around the main roads, let's just say. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make do a, a U-turn right here, basically. Just so you can see what, how I'm, what I'm gonna do here. So here's my U-turn right here. So what I would, in, re in reality, what I would do is I would, have, would stay all on the right side of the road the whole time. And I would connect the dots basically. So I'm just going back. So now I've created a kind of a, a small little loop right here with no destinations as of yet. All right. So here we are. We'll just loop this around here again, like we did on the other side. Perfect. And then what I want to do is I want to connect this up to this point right here, like that. Stop recording. There we go. So now. Now we have a network, a little small network. So basically it's a little loop that goes on this main little road here. So if I want to connect this up to my my farm on um, on the multiplayer server, we're going to connect, connect a road up here. So I need to record a network up here. Now this is like a one-way road or a two-way road. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the purple one, which makes it a two-way road. So I'm going to drive from here. I'm going to drive up to the farm entrance over here making sure to drive as safely as I can. So here's the two-way road right here. So I'm just gonna drive past the entrance right there. And then I'm gonna stop recording right there. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect another two-way road from here over to here. So let's go ahead and start recording here and then just drive this little area section right here and we'll call this we'll call this destination home farm. There we go. Stop recording. There we go. So now I have this little area right here. But now I need to connect this up to the main network. So now I need to connect this little section right here up to this road over here. Let's go ahead and do that. So I want to let's reset that. Uh, I guess that's the best one right there and connect those two up right there. So now my problem I'm running into right here is you can see that it's only going to be one way from there. So what I really could do here is I could just make it into a loop all the way around. So if that's the case, it doesn't want to connect it with a purple line. I would just make a loop going from the bottom half to the top half. So let's just do that now. So we'll go right here and we'll record a little network from here around to the other side base and now you could I could have done this with a two-way road I suppose or one way uh, one way or two-way either way so let's go ahead and do that record a little two-way road here I'm gonna go up to here out to our other destination up here and we'll connect this up here so let's make one more point there we go stop and we'll connect that up right there. So now I have a connection point from there to there. And let's go down to their side here and create a connection over there as well. And then we'll be able to go and loop around there, which is good. So that's the one we want. We want that guy right there. And I want that connection point right there. Perfect. So there we have it. So that's that connection made there. So now I can get to the farm. And if I come back down here, 
we're going to put another little network up over here to the shop and then we will make a little route around there so this cam I have a one-way road so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have some sort of semblance of a one-way road let's go ahead and record a little course over here like so we're just going to do a little loop around here and we'll call this one just the shop like that and then we'll continue this loop down here and then right here now the thing I need to do here now is right now this isn't connected to the network so I need to do the same thing so I'm at this last destination right here let's go ahead and reset the network and select our next waypoint here that was a good one right there because then I'll just loop around perfect connect that up good you do the same thing on the other side here now so we have this point right here we need to get to that one right there let's reset again oh that's perfect there we go so now we have this little tiny network that goes from the shop to the farm basically so let's go ahead and we have it at drive mode right here let's go ahead and update our pathways here so it knows where we can go it's done excellent so let's see what our destinations are here oops our destination is home farm or shop so right now we are at the shop basically let's see if we can go to the home farm driver pickup can't reach home farm okay so now we need to kind of do a little bit of problem solving to see what's going down here so let's go ahead and see if we can do it here now on this pathway no okay we do some little bit of uh, problem solving to seeing what's going on let's check it out so here's our problem right here so we have this little loop right here but there's no connection point between here and our two-way road right there so let's go ahead and make that connection point right now so I have that connection point so I go off this road onto there and now I also want to do the same thing but I want to go from this one-way road over here to the two-way road on the other side or to the other direction basically let's see if we can get that connection point there we go so let's see what we got here no no there so now I have a connection point that goes from the purple right here to the other lane over there and from this side onto the purple let's reset our network perfect and let's see if we can get to our home farm now so let's go back to the shop pretending we just purchased something here and there we go we're at the shop let's see if we can get there we updated our network already let's see oh there we go perfect let's see how this works out let's take off the edit mode here or take off this at the very least so now we're following this course what's going to happen is because I have no left turn up here I'm just going to go on this loop so if this were a road where it's just going to straight back and forth I'd have to connect this up to the other side without doing a loop here there we go it's going to follow that little loop that we made as you can see there and now it's going to head back to our main farm now remember this is what it would be. you'd have to create a whole network on a map where it doesn't have any network at all so in this case I've already made a small little segment of it um, but you could go around all the map basically and have all the connection points there should you desire at least there we go now this is a two-way road here so I can go I don't don't need to have directions on this one it can go one way or the other so what's gonna happen here is up here it's gonna turn on to here because that's the only way it can connect up to that two-way road it really I could have just made this a one-way road that's gonna get stuck on this turn just too tight as you can see here so I'm just gonna stop it here and make the turn for it because that was just too tight apparently there we go that's gonna follow this path here that we made it's gonna go and turn left up here onto this path and the really nice thing about this mod is that like now that I've made this course I don't have to re-record it to make adjustments I can just adjust one small segment of it which is fantastic so here we go I'm at the home farm now excellent that's gonna stop right there as reached the home farm let's say I want to go back to the shop so now it's gonna head back to the shop so that's how you create a course uh, for a modded map in the auto drive mod um, so it gives you an idea of what you can do so this is only a small portion like I've only done like on, on this map I've done from the shop to field like basically this area right here and nothing else so far so I would have to if I wanted to have everything done it would take a significant amount of time but I would means I would you know once I did it all like the main networks or I could do some of the main networks and then just kind of add things as I see as it, as it needs to be basically so there we go heading back to the farm here 
almost done. There we go, making a right turn here on this pathway right here. There we go. So like I said before in the previous tutorials, it's like you're making a rail network. You need to make sure all your lines are connecting because if they don't connect, it can't find a path to that destination basically. And of course, not that one turn that I made that was a poor turn, now I can go back and adjust that if I need to. And now it's reached the, the shop. There you go. So folks, that's how you create a network on a modded map. Obviously that's a very small network, but if you were wanted to, you'd have to make a network over all of the main roads here and whatnot. So depending on how, where your farm was, for example, on my, on my multiplayer farm, this is where I am right here. So I'd make something that goes up to here, up to here, maybe down here, somewhere around these areas here, but basically probably just to the main, uh, main drop off points too. So there you go. All right, folks, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any more questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. My name is Ian Robson and I'll catch you guys later.